He was a 17-year-old who loved canoeing, went to war, and never came back. Now, almost a century later, his old canoe has drifted back to where he spent his summers. The young man who paddled the canoe was Bob Hamilton, a member of a prominent Canadian family, and his mysterious disappearance haunted his family. He was wounded in August of 1918, but he was alive and well away from the action, being transferred between medical facilities when he vanished. For years, the family searched for him, asking for help from officials and seeking soldiers who might have seen him, even traveling to France. But there was never anything more about the young man who loved paddling after a while, one of Bob's brothers took the canoe to Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Eventually, it was given to another family, the Fountains. It survived many adventures, including a fire, painted red in an attempt to stop leaks. But Bruce Fountain says his family always called it the Bob Hamilton Canoe, in honor of the lost soldier. And when rot took hold of the canoe, he decided he couldn't let the last tangible link to the young man fade away. Didn't know I was doing it for Bob, but I think we did. It took years. Dana Fountain, Bruce's son, eventually took over the restoration project. Dana became fascinated with Bob Hamilton and the mystery finding dozens of military records about him online. When you have that level of information, it really does connect to the person in a way that family oral folklore doesn't. Dana couldn't find out what happened to Bob Hamilton, but he did put the now gleaming canoe back in the water. This was where Bob paddled the canoe and now to have it be on the water again, I think is a, a very serendipitous moment. And by sheer coincidence, Dana now stores it at a cottage that is on the Lake of Bays, where Bob and the rest of the Hamilton family a century ago spent their summers. The owner died in the war. The First World War. Oh, wow. Dana makes sure everyone who sees it learns something about the young soldier who had the canoe first. And it's been in my family since the 1920s or 30s or so. From a professional the restoration has really even impressed a master canoe builder in the area, Jack Hurley. This passes anything I've ever done. Oh, this is spectacular work. Now, on the water, Bob Hamilton's memory is never far away. The canoe came back. Bob did not come back. Well, I just am a custodian of it. With the canoe restored and returned, the soldier who vanished 98 years ago now seems a little less lost, a little less forgotten. Havard Gould, CBC News, Lake of Bays, Ontario.